Welcome back to Just Kiwi's DIYs. I am turning this ugly clock into something like this. So let's just stay tuned and keep on watching. Oh, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date with my latest videos. So far, I just unscrewed the clock because I will be putting some decals on there just to make it a little, you know, spruce it up a little bit. As you can see, my decal did not fit my clock, so I just cut the bottom part of it off just to fit the words at least on it. Instead of it saying wash, dry, fold, and repeat, it should say wash, dry, let it sit for a couple days, and repeat but I couldn't fit all that. All right, so you can see here that I have to stain the paper clips because I do not want them that light. Stain has already set in and it's dry. All you're doing now is just gluing it on the outer edge of your clock. And pretty much that's it. Um, it's very simple from here. And this is the final look. I love the way this turned out. It is really giving me like farmhouse vibes. I think it's so beautiful. You know, for me, anything on the wall will just spruce up any room in your house. But if you guys try this, please let me know and put it in the comments below, all right? For our second clothes pin design, we are making a patriotic wreath. So I am just spray painting them red, white, and blue, and we're just gonna hop into it. Before you put it on your wire wreath form, you're going to push the clothespins all the way down and see you cannot no more. So it's going to give it an up and down effect. So with the second one, when you put it on, instead of pushing it all the way down, you're just going to push it until the clothespins meet the wire rack. So as you can see, it like it has an up, down, up, down effect. So just keep on doing that throughout your whole entire life. I ended up using 17 blue clothespins. And right here, I'm just doing five reds, five whites, just like a pattern like that. And I use 25 of each. I'm just hot gluing some stars that I got from the Dollar Tree as well. They're just little foam stars. I'm just gonna hot glue them on on the blue part. And I'm also going to put a ribbon at the bottom. This is the finished look. I love the way this turned out. It looks so beautiful. And it will look good on anybody's door. And like I always say, y'all, if you don't want to buy it, just DIY it. Thank you for watching.